Let's talk about the market in NBA 2K23, my team. The market is uh, interesting since the main event packs came out, which I stand firm on my statements earlier about the franchise of Dave and Buster ripoffs called main event. They're trash and they deserve to burn to the ground. You may be thinking that's a little harsh. I, I will say that it is not harsh and they are garbage and they smell like near constant farts and vastly vastly overpriced anyways main event packs were uh horrible as per usual i pulled absolutely nothing of substance or value from these i pulled uh 250k worth of mt did not use my vc this time and uh i got rafe lafrance magic johnson and desmond bain these three the three amethysts no diamonds no pink diamonds so i would advise not opening the packs i will open one more just for funsies just to show you that you should not open these in any way shape or form watch an amethyst pop out not even close i got omar sheik and another desmond bain hooray things are going well now yeah i would advise let's do one more you know what we're here for the market talk let's see if we can get something cracking that would be a hard no once again as i receive another amethyst that is super sick i like to see that the market is interesting let's first start talking about the trophy case grind so we got the nba records trophy case at the end you get a centerpiece now there's still 55 days left on this bad boy so you've still got a long period of time 100 points with a player in a game okay that seems acceptable 30 assists very easy 55 rebounds total i'm so glad they didn't do 55 rebounds in one game because i for sure thought they were going to do that 17 blocks score 186 points in a game now that shouldn't be that hard um you can probably do that in the uh athleticism challenge you're just gonna have to never attack the rim basically 59 points with joel Embiid. Uh, 17 assists with Harden, 22 rebounds with any Vucevic, which I'll get done very easily considering I use this guy all the time. Eight blocks with Mobley, seven steals with D'Angelo Russell. That's probably going to be toxic if I'm being honest, but it is what it is. Also got a new takeover player, which is like, I don't really think anybody cares about Kiki Vanderwee, to be honest. Like, I really don't think anyone cares. He looks like he's like 56 years old with bad posture and halitosis, but... I'm sure you can hoop at least to a partial degree. I did use this card quite a bit at the very beginning of the year, so I'm thinking that maybe he's a little bit better than people are realizing, but that being said, I'm not grinding for this card. If I get him organically, cool, but I'm not grinding. Let's look at the cards that came out today. We'll start actually with the season cards. Now we got Danilo Gallinari, who Danilo Gallinari is very, very solid, though quite expensive to lock in for. Although Del uh, he's good. I'm going to start by saying that before I start trashing the card. Although he can shoot, he can play basically no defense and he moves okay, but he is a 93 overall diamond that is going to cost you over 100,000 MT and I can tell you right now that it is not worth it. No matter what you <laughs> no matter what you want to argue, it's not worth it in any meaningful capacity. I still think Mikhail Bridges is more worth it than him. And Mikhail Bridges, by the way, is back up to being over 100k now due to the lack of Jerry Sloan's. So if you have Jerry Sloan, it's probably a good idea to sell him right now. Same with uh, Dan Issel. He's out here at like 60k right now. So probably a good idea to get rid of these guys. Um, I believe the Erie guys, anybody? No, no one really cares about these anymore, to be honest. So these aren't really worth selling. I mean, Jimmy's still going for 70k. So if you want to get rid of Jimmy, you can do that. Um, Fernando Martin... I have not seen a single person uh, talk about this card, not only in like a positive fashion, but just like period at all. I haven't seen anybody talk about this card. He's got Alperin Sagoon's release, same as like Mikhail. Not really a great release. Honestly, Fernando Martin is just not very good. Uh, once again, just not worth anything, really. He'll cost roughly around 100k to lock in for, but I mean like similar diamonds at a similar like i can't sit here and tell you that fernando martin is confidently better than aaron gordon like i i can't and aaron gordon's like way cheaper um as far as cards that you should look to pick up at some point like this this yee 
and Wang ZZ duo was kind of carrying me in limited. He's good. Uh, Emerald Giannis is really good for offline stuff. Um, other than that, <laughs> Gold Minute Bull, the homie, he's actually not too bad. I mean, he's not very good, but he's taller than quite literally everyone in the entire game, so he's going to body and like triple threat offline. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Honestly, none of these cards really mean anything either. Then we got the select set. Uh, there's obviously the Pete Maravich ones, the Deadlift Shrimp one. If you have any of these cards, sell them. Like, period. You should be selling them, and there's really no reason that you shouldn't. Like, DeMontis Sabonis is like almost 50k. Please get rid of DeMontis Sabonis. Ricky Rubio, I'm not sure what his price is really at, though. I just don't think anyone really cares about Deadlift Shrimp. Like, at the end of the day. Like, if I'm being... 100% transparent. I do not care about Deadlift Shrimp at all. Honestly, didn't even look into him really. He's got Wayne Ellington release, which is kind of sick. Uh, I don't think anyone's really stoked on that. I mean, it's not like he's horrible. He looks decent, but it's just like, how much better is Deadlift Shrimp than Trophy Case Richard Lewis? He's not. That's then <laughs> he's not. Like he's quite literally worse than that card. But if you have any of these cards, it's definitely a good idea to get rid of them. Uh, ASAP. I mean, Peja Stojakovic is 60k, dude. Please, just get rid of this card. It's not... Well, Tristan Thompson! Does he even have a buyout? Yeah, he does. Okay, I was gonna say. That was about to tweak me out. Let's look at the main event set. Um, Desmond Bain's kinda good. He doesn't really play defense all that well, but he's kinda tight. Um, and he's like, you know, dirt cheap. You can get him for like 3,000 MT. Straight up. So... If you want him, I mean, grab him. He's okay. Like he's six five. He's like a good budget two guard. He can move and shoot. Um, he plays like competent enough defense, but it's not like a selling point. He's pretty good. I mean, he's just not great. This magic is heinous, to be honest. Like this is chubby fat magic, and magic already doesn't move very well. And this one does not help at all. This one's not moving really. Honestly, I feel like with magic though. It's like one that has 87 speed and one that has 95 speed. They don't really feel that much different, if I'm being honest. So from a speed perspective, I mean, it's not bad. If he could play power forward, I would say he was actually not a horrible budget power forward to run due to the fact that he can kind of do a little bit of everything except play defense. But uh, he can't. Rafe LaFrance. <clears throat> I mean, he's essentially the same as the Kevin Love that we received at the beginning of the game's lifespan. Uh, so if you like Kevin Love, then sure. I don't think there's any reason to pick up Rafe LaFrance, too. I mean, if you're looking for a floor spacing big, no. I mean, for the price that Rafe LaFrance is going for, I mean, you can't get anyone better, technically speaking. But if you just raise, like, 6,000 more MT, you can go get Vucevic, who's, like, significantly better. All right, Diamond Time. This Diamond Magic is worthless. Do not pick him up. I know you're tempted to run this magic because he's six foot nine at the point guard and you can like post spam but i i'm not kidding when i say that sean livingston is just as good as this card if not outright better because he can actually run so you should probably just pick up sean livingston if you're trying to do post chia stuff this magic is heinous the amount of badges that he can't get is ridiculous like he is able to get masher um he can't get bully he really can't get any defensive badges or shooting badges like this card sucks like i'm sorry this card is trash dude only a 73 pointer like chubby magic from 1996 is a better three-point shooter than this magic right here which is kind of like not chill re from a realism standpoint that's actually kind of like realistic like this magic probably was a bigger like a better shooter than the other magic due to the fact that like his physical gifts had gone away but still De'Aaron Fox is pretty good he is not really the greatest defender in the world but he's super fast and can attack the rim it just kind of depends with like what point guard you're running he's about 26k on the low end which isn't terrible and if you don't have like a Derrick Rose or anything like that he might be good to pick up but realistically he's not even really that much better than Kevin Johnson who you can get for free and they don't look that different size wise like De'Aaron Fox is like a really small 6-3 you know what I mean and like looking at the badge count it's quite literally uh not different like De'Aaron Fox just has a half fast twitch like that's really the only difference here 
I mean, he's all right. You could pick him up if you want. If you want a lightning fast point guard, like you can definitely hold it down. But I would just prefer to go after Kevin Johnson, honestly. And Kevin Johnson sucks as a human being, too. Aaron Gordon. He's roughly around the same price, even lower in certain aspects. He is good for the current meta of the game, which is just running and dunking on people or paint mashing. The jump shot is easy to green, but slow. Kind of reminds me of like... Who has another easy to green but slow jump shot? Like Karolinko, kind of, but it's it's slower than Karolinko's, I will say. That being said, the badge count's right. Like, everything's right on Aaron Gordon except his jump shot. Like, he's near perfect except for the jump shot. Like, he is a broke version of Josh Smith, basically. Like, that's what you're getting with Aaron Gordon. And if that's what you're looking for, that's what your team needs, I mean, Aaron Gordon's right here, right for the taking. Clay Thompson's 500K. I'm just convinced that there's never going to be a pink diamond that's not 500k, dude. It's just not going to happen. It will, obviously, once a new gem tier. What I'm saying is I don't think there's ever going to be a high gem tier player that's not going to be 500k plus every single time. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it is what it is. Also, like, is it just me or does it look like... Maybe I shouldn't say that in the video. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to know what I said, maybe go watch the stream back. I'll say it later. Magic Johnson is astronomically expensive. You know what I mean? Why is he this expensive? This is a 21 Hoff badge Magic Johnson. You are being kidding me. That's wild. This one is going to break sales records, I think. I thought he was going to be more expensive. I mean, this one... Yeah, I mean, 800k. That's because he, he runs like a trot. Like, he trots. Like, he sucks. You know what I mean? From a speed perspective, he's not good. That being said, Magic is the most broken card in this game still. Like, he may not be the fastest card in the game. He may struggle to run with the ball in his hands, but he runs without the ball in his hands just fine, which is why it's baffling to me. They gave him an 87 ball handle, which is like Magic Johnson, you know, or whatever. I don't care anymore. Uh, the defense is really, really good on him, too. There's just nothing wrong with this card except for that little trot. But come in standard with Hoff Bully... Whew. That's not exactly going to be a fun uh, event to deal with. Like He's going to pretty much take down any point guard. And he's got Gold Masher, too. You can add so many different badges to him. He is, I don't want to say the best point guard in the game because it's very subjective. Like, John Wall still might be better than him in certain aspects. But, like, and the jump shot is not bad this year. Like, I use Danny Manning pretty frequently. The jump shot is solid. No cards have come down in price uh really at all like i expected maybe ricky davis to drop in price a little bit and we are seeing a lot of ricky davis's get put up because a lot of people are switching over to clay thompson but he's still going to be close to 500k if not outright over 500k ben simmons price has actually gone up a little bit uh since the other day because you people would like to use ben simmons to stop magic so it is what it is um he's still kind of affordable though at 30k i mean it's like kind of your best bet there's no DeMar DeRozan's out here. Tim Thomas is still a god. I wouldn't be shocked to see, like, DeMar DeRozan not be in Super Packs. Like, that's something that they would do for sure. <laughs> Ron Artest, I expected to be, you know, dropping in price a little bit. But people still love Ron Artest. But there are more up than there was just the other day. So, it's possible he drops down in price in, you know, a little bit. Shoes aren't really up. I mean, your converses are going to be up for sure because people are going to want to shoe out magic. So if you have any gold converse or gold, sorry, uh, you know, diamond converses, you're going to want to sell those. Um, I don't think I, hey, I don't have any, unfortunately, of course. Let's take a look. I want to know exactly how expensive we're dealing with here. Oh, not bad at all. Yo, I expected them to be way more expensive than this. Yeah, that's crazy. Never mind. Yeah, if you have your Converses, I mean, sell them if you want, but I don't think they're ever going to go up in price more. Yeah, we were just talking about that Magic Johnson, as a matter of fact. Literally, that's that's crazy. Uh, Badge-wise, I mean, people... The thing is, when it comes to guys like Magic Johnson, right? <clears throat> gold badges, selling gold badges doesn't really do a whole lot. The reason I say that is because a player like Magic is so expensive that it's like anybody who has the MT to buy Magic is probably going to try to buy one with Hoff badges. I mean, you can try to sell your gold badges to kind of compete with that, but it's like 
it doesn't really mean a whole lot at the end of the day so that's kind of a bummer uh, so if you're hoping to make a lot of mt because magic is missing badges well unfortunately like the people who buy magic like they probably have a lot of hoff badges stored up because if you're paying over a million mt for a magic johnson in november chances are you play this game a lot and chances are you have a few hoff badges laying around <laughs> That's all I'm going to say there. Also, we got a moments card too. We got Royce O'Neal. He's got to get a triple double with Royce O'Neal. You get a Royce O'Neal. I've said Royce O'Neal like six times in the last like 24 seconds. That's what's up. You know, <laughs> it's more than I've ever said Royce O'Neal in my entire life, hands down. I am pretty confident about that. Like, no question. The market is so boring to talk about. If you do have any of these, like, uh, season two world showcase cards now's the best time to sell them because they're only going to go down in value from this point um especially if you get any of the select cards did they even do a third select set they didn't okay so i think this is the last select set well at least this season anyway um i don't know if we're doing anything else i'm not sure to be honest uh well no wait wait wait, wait. no no, there should have been another select set if I'm not mistaken, right? Let me let me make sure I'm correct about this because we had season two Eerie and then we got, yeah. And then we had this the first week locked in for Pete Maravich with the new Frontier set. So there should have been another set. So it looks like there's not going to be another select set. Okay. Interesting. But if you have any of the select cards, now's a good time to sell them. If you have any of these cards, period, especially the high tier ones, now's the best time to sell them because they will only drop in value. I mean... Like Boris Dio is thirty thousand, well nineteen. Um, you could probably flip that, but I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust myself. It's the Fernando Martin one, so it's like I'm not really too worried about it. But Rui Hachimura is cheap too. I don't know. That's weird. I don't understand this market sometimes. It's like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But either way, have fun this weekend. If you want to try sniping and stuff, go right ahead. Spend your friend cheap loots. Peace.